Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about solving rational inequalities. Last time, we had a video with regards to solving rational equations. Uh, you can click it here, the upper part. Ito, and I will put the link of that video in the description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the first example. By the way, guys, I will try to create two videos about solving rational inequalities. And this is the first video. We have here solve the rational inequality x minus 3 over x plus 1. Definitely, guys, this one is an example of rational inequality. So here's the question. How do we solve rational inequalities? First step is to secure that your rational inequality is in general form. Ano bang ibig sabihin ko kapag sinabi kong general form? Dapat, isa sa mga sides niya or yung right side must be equal to zero. So we are good with this example because it's already in general form. So next step natin, second step natin, is to find the zeros of your numerator and denominator. To find the zeros of your numerator, you need to equate it by zero. x minus 3 is equal to zero. And transposing this one to the other side, it will give you x is equal to 3. This is the first, this is the zero of the numerator. And for your denominator, you have x plus 1 is equal to 0. Transpose this one to the other side. And from positive, it will become negative. So we have x is equal to negative 1. What is the purpose of these numbers 3 and negative 1, or the zeros of your numerator and denominator? The purpose, the purpose of these numbers, uh, they will serve as the critical values in our number line. Okay, let's create a number line here. What a number line. Okay. Since we have two critical values, alam naman natin this is zero, di ba? Yung gitna zero. Pero we will try to estimate the placement of three. Since this one is positive, we have to place that here. Sorry, right side. This is three. And for negative one, it will be placed here. We have negative one. So what happens in you guys? Uh, this number line is already divided into three parts. And by the way, uh, this part is negative infinity, and this is positive infinity. Now, this part is divided into three parts. Okay, guys? Eh? Ngayon, we will check if regions of the solution for us to get the possible solution of this inequality in um, interval notation and in inequality form. So first, ang gagawin natin is we will check if negative 1 and 3 or your critical values are included with the solutions. Again, solutions of this rational inequality. So, paano ba ginagawa yun? Dito, if you want to check if this is open circle or solid circle, you will replace excess here by negative 1. So, gagawin natin dito, negative 1 minus 3. I replaced x by negative 1 over negative 1 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. We have negative 1 minus 3, that is negative 4, over 0. Okay? So, definitely, guys, hindi pwede. So, that is an open circle. Okay? So, open circle siya. Kasi yung, ano natin, yung denominator natin, 0 na siya, di ba? 0. Kasi, uh, negative 1 minus 3, tapos, negative 1, plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, itong part na to ay magiging negative 4 over 0, in which hindi pwede yan, guys. So, definitely, that is equal to, uh, that is an open circle. Open circle siya, guys. Open circle. I will use a red ink para mas lalit, ma-notice niya. I will use a red ink open circle. Okay. Now, for this number naman, for this critical value, we have to replace this one, 3 minus 3 over 3 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. 
Now guys, um, 3 minus 3 is 0 over 4. Ito pwede to. Now, this one is a true statement because 0 over 4 is 0. And we know that 0 is greater than or equal to 0 because they are equal. So we will use here, we will use a solid circle. Sir, sir, what is the difference between the open circle and the solid circle? It is opinion, guys, that this critical value, if this is a solid circular, this critical value is included with the set of solutions of this rational equality. And this one, since open circle, it is not included. Okay, hindi siya kasama. Now, we are done with the critical values. Let's move on with the regions. We will try to get a value for each region. Okay, so kapag ginamit natin ito, ang value natin kung hindi ito is negative 2 na lang siguro. Um, mas mabilis siguro kung negative 3. I will use x is equal to negative 3. Again, this negative 3 is a representative here. Diba? Uh, number from negative 1 pa is negative 3. Example siya. Replace natin yung negative 3. That is negative 3 minus 3 over negative 3 plus 1 is greater than 0. Kailangan para maging solution yung region, uh, it, it, can became, uh, it can become ano, a true statement. We have negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 over negative 2. And we know that when we divide these numbers, this is positive 3. And tanong dito, is it a true statement? Yes, because 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, guys, um, this one is included. Okay? This is included sa ating solution. Now, let's try yung ating middle region. Yung ating middle region. Sa middle region natin, I'll be using x is equal to 0 because 0 is between negative 1 and 3. Now, if we replace 0 by those excess, it will become 0 minus 3 over 0 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. And as you can see, that is negative 3 over 1, okay? Greater than or equal to 0 and negative divided by positive, that is negative 3. In which, this one is a false statement, false. So why false? Because negative 3 is not greater than or equal to 0. Okay? That is less than to 0. Kaya okay, false siya. So we will not uh, put a line here because the middle, again, the middle, the middle region is not included. By the way, guys, this one is a shortcut. Shortcut to ah, if we have this kind of scenario. If you left side natin, Ito, left side, is a solution. Automatically, the right side is a solution. Pero double check natin. Let's get a number uh, that is greater than 3. Let's try x is equal to 4. Okay? x is equal to 4. Double check natin kung tama talaga yung sinasabi ko. x is equal to 4. Replace x by 4. 4 minus 3 over 4 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, pwede lang natin. Okay? So, ang 4 plus 3 natin is, ang uh, 4 minus 3 natin is 1 over 5. So, check natin. Is it a true or a false statement? Yes, this, this one is a true statement because 1 over 5 is greater than 0. So, definitely guys, this region is a solution. Let's erase this one. Ngayon, um, okay na tayo. In graphical form, we already have the solution. Ito yung solution natin in graphical form. All the numbers, less than negative 1, but negative 1 is not included. And all the numbers starting from 3 and above. So how are we going to uh, represent this one in interval notation? For interval notation, ito magiging sabit natin. For this graph, we will use a parenthesis because we have negative infinity. Always and more, remember that guys, when there's a negative infinity that is in 
a parenthesis, comma, negative 1. And it's either um, a parenthesis or bracket. So in this case, since this one is an open circle and negative 1 is not included, we will use parenthesis. And then union, symbol for union, okay, for this part naman, since 3 is included, I will use bracket 3, comma, positive infinity or infinity, pero since it's infinity to, I will use parenthesis. Ito yung interval notation natin rep that represents this graph. And for the inequality, another way on how to represent our answer, for inequality, this graph is x is less than negative 1. And ano mismo yun? Or, sama natin to, x is greater than or equal to negative to 3 because 3 is included with our solution. So, yun guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin on how to solve rational inequalities. And stay tuned and I hope na mapanood mo yung second part of our video on how to solve rational inequalities. By the way guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gord. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!